The law of conservation of mass states that mass can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only be converted from one form to another. So let's go over a couple different types of word problems you may encounter with the law of conservation of mass. The first examples include counting atoms, and the second examples include adding and subtracting the mass. So let's get started. Does the following equation follow the law of conservation of mass? Yes, if you count the atoms, you will notice that the reactants and products are the same. Next, does this equation follow the law of conservation of mass? No, because the reactant side does not equal the product side. Next, a different type of problem. Assume magnesium and oxygen react completely together. How many grams of magnesium oxide will form? Remember, the reactants and products are equal, so you just add reactants, magnesium and oxygen, to give you the magnesium oxide, which is 78.6 grams. Okay, a slight variation of this. How much oxygen will add with 36 grams of carbon to give 132 grams of carbon dioxide, assuming complete combustion? So, let's set up the problem. We have the carbon, oxygen is our X, and then here is our carbon dioxide mass. Solve for x, I'll subtract 36 from both sides. So x equals 96 grams. Plug it back into the original. So the mass of carbon is 36, mass of oxygen is 96. Add these two together and it equals 132 grams of carbon dioxide. If you'd like to know more about the law of mass, conservation of mass, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching and Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.